Is it possible to run an effective poultry farming business without keeping records? It's not possible. Because record keeping is one of the key components. If business is really what you have in mind before starting your poultry farm. Now there are different types of record keeping. Records that we keep in poultry. We have the rearing record or you can call them production record. That's the record that you use when you are training these birds. The number of bags of feed they eat, mortality and all that. And also we have the expenditures through sales record. That's where you document your expenses and then the money you get from sales. But in this video, I want to share with you the production stroke rearing records, how to do it, what is used for the components that are required in it. So the video is starting right now. I want to use the next 30 seconds to advertise a service we render over here from the farm. It's called a canvas printing split panels. We have that of three in one, we have that of five in one. It is good for your interior decoration. Those your wall that is just vacant, this kind of stuff is what you need. And this is what we do over here in farm. You know, farms are sited in isolated area, right? So we use it to keep ourselves busy and make money in the process. It comes with a working wall clock. So it can be the wall clock you have in your living room and it also serves as your picture framing. So I'll be sharing a link in the description of this video if you're interested, you order the service, keep us busy in the farm. So we'll make money and also beautify your walls in your house. If you're excited about what you're about to learn right now, I want you to like this video. Click the like button to like this video. And then if you're new to this channel, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Having done that, guys, let's roll. For the broiler rearing record, the components of a broiler rearing record includes, let me start, let's call it broilers. Rearing record. It depends on the farm. If you have a lot of poultry pen houses inside your farm, you can um, be more detailed to identify which particular poultry pen house. So here you fill in the number. There might be poultry pen house A, poultry pen house B, poultry pen house C. Now another thing you need to fill up also is the number of beds, the number of broilers that came in, number of broilers that came in from the hatchery. So for us over here we, we got 650 and each carton, that's 13 cartons, and each carton came with extra one, making it a total of um, 663. So over here I'm going to be writing six, six three. Okay, let me call it penthouse A for the broilers. So the next thing we will write, you put down here is the attendance name. If your farm has a lot of attendants and each of them are to man a particular penthouse, you need to write the name of the attendant. So we see attendance name. Which attendant is manning this particular penthouse? Okay, for this one now, let me write Samuel. That's the name of our farm attendant who is in charge of the broilers, this particular set of broilers. And then the next thing to write is the source of the beds. Source. These beds are Ross. The source came from Agrited. Agrited. And then the breed. Breed of the broilers. The breed is um, Ross 308. Ross 308. So having put all this down, the next thing we we'll do is to go on to write the other components that are necessary. These components now that I'm about to show you now are the ones that the somewhere the farm attendant we will be imputing every day up to day-to-day -day activities to the end of stay of the beds. So here we have the week. You can see this is the week. And on that week we have the date. And then day over here. 
So with this now you can have D1, D2, D3, D4, D5 continuously. And over here you have the dates like the broilers I'm using for illustration in this came in on the 17th of um 1702 of February 2023. That's when they came in. There will be a tabulation here. There will be another one here for the day. Maybe after I'll use a proper ruler to rule it. Then the next the next thing to put here is the age of the birds in weeks. As in week. Okay. Followed by that's the tabulation on its own. Followed by number of beds. You know, number of beds do reduce along the way. It depends. Number of uh should I of beds. For day one was C C three. After that we talk about the weight gain. This weight gain it depends on how many times you want to be doing this, but I recommend it being done once every week. For this weight gain, you can measure it once a week. Some people who have extra time can do it once a day. This best came in with an average weight of 45 grams. Mark it day one. Arrival weight 45 grams. After that, the next is the feed consumed. Feed consumption. Here you can indicate how many grams of feed the best or how many kg of feed the best are consuming every day. Although you can skip this and then at the end of the week, like say this is the five, the six, the seven, the eight. This day eight is the beginning of a new week. This week two. Having measured the base here to get in day one to get 45 gram, the new week is on the eighth day. So over here you can measure to get. I oh, wish I had. Let me let me just rule this manually. It won't look all that neat, but this is an illustration. Apologies, I'm using one hand to hold the camera, so my hand is a bit shaky. So after the feed consumption, the next thing you consider is mortality. How many bears die? Let me assume that um, mortality is where an stroke call. Call are just like sick bears that you separate from the flock, and then. Okay, let's separate that. Call will be on its own. Because a sick bed separated might get better and reintroduce into the flock. Mortality is no return. The bed is dead, the bed is dead. And then we'll have drug medications. Medications. This one is stroke vaccination. And then finally we have remark. This remark like your recommendation or your observation so this is what the broiler hearing record should look like there are other details you can put in if you wish to add more details but in order not to make it so cumbersome this is okay for the first week you have you write the day the dates you can be filling in the dates one by one day one to day seven for week one from the eight is the beginning of week two. That's why we wrote this line this way. And then under the week here we'll have week one. Then here we'll have week two. The number of bears. Assuming this is the number of bears, C C three. Now assuming there is mortality. Let me say maybe four. Four broilers died. Okay. Let me just say on the second day. Four broilers died. That means over here, number of beds will reduce to six, five, nine. In that order, you'll be reducing the number of the beds and going down. This is the weight. At the end of week one, you measure. That's on the eighth day, early in the morning, you measure the new weights. 
to check the weak performance of the best. This way you put in the date. And also, if you already know the calculation of how many bags of feed the best are meant to consume, you can be recording it, this one weekly. Maybe the f at the end of the first week, you write how many bags they consume based on the number of bags you estimated and it worked out to be the same you just write it down since you may not be able to be measuring precisely how many grams they consume each day until they start consuming like half bag one full bag that one will make it easier for you to but under mortality once you write the number of beds that died the next thing it has to reflect in the number of beds remaining and then when there are sick beds that you maybe isolated some of the beds due to their sick you put them under the call but it will not affect the number of the beds since sickness can get better and then the number should remain constant but mortality there is no way return that means the number will have to reflect here then for the medications let me say for the first day the beds normally take antibiotics and the beds normally take multivitamin and glucose so you can say glucose plus multivitamin Sorry, my handwriting is so bold. And then at the end, the remark, you can write any remark for bears coming in with this kind of weight. I think the remark is that the kind of, you can say, arrival weights, bears are in good health. I see bears arrived in, in good health. That can be the remark. So this is basically what a rearing, broiler rearing record looks like. I just did only the one for week one. You can now extend it down to how long you want it to be. But normally if you are raising your broilers for 42 days, you have to extend this to 42. It's, this full scalp won't be enough for 42 days. That means you have to turn the back and continue. So that's it for this video if you learn something new make sure you like the channel subscribe if you have any question leave it in the comment section that's it for this video guys see you next time